Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy coming in in this episode. Uh, we're going to start off uh, by, well, me showing you uh, what I have spent the day uh, mining in terms of resources. And then I'm going to get to smelting and processing all that sort of thing. And probably do most of that, if not all that, off camera. And then uh, in the morning, we will figure out what we're going to do next. So, yeah, this is basically what I've got. I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five full stacks of ore plus a little bit more <coughs> excuse me we got um uh three stacks and change of large stone a whole bunch of clay uh what else did i get uh, we got a little bit of lead a little bit of zinc ore i did i finally found my very first queen bee in a stump after probably 100 stumps these things are ultra rare um so yeah we found that which is cool and uh let's see what else that's pretty much it so what i'm gonna do is get to processing all of this stuff and uh, we also I also have the garden to harvest too so we'll get that going and uh, then like I said we'll figure out what we're gonna do um, uh, when morning comes okay so let's go ahead and uh, grab all of these out of here so we'll get um, all the iron and then we're just gonna put those right in the ores and metals and then we'll get to go smelting on that after we get everything else put away here. Uh, let's grab all of the clay next. And we'll also grab the stone. As well as those items. And then uh, we'll put the clay in here. And put the stone in here. Guess we didn't have any large stones in there. Uh, I guess we don't have any of those in there either. So yeah, we got a nice little supply of resources here with all the mining uh, that I did. And um, grab this, this, uh, and that. And then get those items put away as well. Ball bearings will go in here. Um, all right, so let's see here. We are going to go to our mortar and pestle, and let's have this one get started with a small stone. We're going to turn all of the stone into uh, stone dust so we can continue making concrete. Um, this we will probably put in here for selling. Uh, I got some hazmat boots off of a Zeke. We'll put that in there and that'll give us some uh, military fiber. In fact, let's turn that on. This is all the stuff here uh, that I'm smelting up for for scrap. Okay, and then let's see what else we got in here. Uh, that can go in there. I'm going to keep all of the full tanks of fuel in, in here. Let's uh, refuel this with the ones that we currently have in our inventory. And then we will put uh, those up in there and I think everything else will go well except for this wood will go into the kitchen all right now um, I think we're just gonna throw that in there well maybe not all of that and we are going to start smelting iron like there is no tomorrow over 5,000 thingamadoodles of iron so that's gonna be 66 64, 69, close enough. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna take over 66 minutes uh, to do. Uh, let's see, while that's happening, let me look in here again. Yeah, we are, we're really doing well on resources, actually, quite well. Um, so I think, yeah, we just need to wait for the stone powder here and then we'll, we'll start making more cement in here so that we can make concrete later. Uh, Ready for duty. I don't think you have anything in you, do you? Nope, you don't. Okay. All right. So, what do we get out of here? Uh, good. We got four military fiber. Very nice. Let's grab all of this. And we'll just put uh, all of these things in here. A little bit more metal can go in here. And now let's go into the kitchen and put a couple things away in here. And then we're going to go up and harvest the garden. And then uh, I need to make a bunch more... Um, potato seeds to get our potatoes uh, quantity up to what everything else is. And actually, what do I need to make another beehive? Uh, recipes. 
Oh, all I need is just the the bee itself. Oh well, and this stuff too, which we have plenty of. Okay, yeah. So let's make another one of these, and we will have uh, two apiaries. And uh, we were gonna put the honeycomb in here. Also, I need to repair some stuff, so let's do that next. Uh, oh, we don't have any titanium plating. We're going to have to do something about that. Um, do we have titanium? Yeah, we've got some ingots there, so let's go into here. I have some plating back over at the base, too. You know, we're actually... Wow, it takes two ingots to make one plating. That's expensive. Um, we're actually starting to get kind of low on titanium just because, you know, we exhausted everything from that big titanium mine. So I might have to go out and do another wasteland foray and just kind of get some of the surface titanium. So what else, what else do we use titanium ingots for? I don't remember. We use it for titanium rebar which i think we need for titanium weapons and or upgrading titanium weapons we already have 36 of those so yeah i think i'm going to turn all of this into to plating then uh nope there we go okay and then i don't remember how many it said we needed to repair this so let's grab four of those oh we need a six yowzers that's expensive Let's try that again. There we go. Um, all right, Valkyrie drill also requires six plates. Let's top off these tools here. Those are all pretty good. We'll hit that tool there. And then uh, the jackhammer. That takes 10 steel, which we have plenty of. And I think everything else is in pretty good shape. How's our armor look, by the way? Armor is in good, great condition. Okay, cool. So let's grab a few more of these plates so we can get our Valkyrie drill um, repaired. I, w I would like to start upgrading this too at some point, but again, our, our highest priority is still to get the chemistry bench to tier three before we really do anything else in regards to upgrading or researching. Okay, so we'll put that back in there. Um, let or, yeah, so Gonna, I am going to definitely have to do uh, some titanium um, mining again here. But that's fine. We can do that. We can absolutely do that. Okay. Uh, we're a little bit hungry and fairly significantly, significantly thirsty. So let's go ahead and have a mineral water there. We have got a lot of food. Okay, let's head up to the garden and get that harvested as our next step here. Oh, I want to grab the apiary too. And uh, we, we probably we need some more like uh, chrysanthemum to, to feed them too. Let's uh, see, we did that in here, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab this. Don't have any chrysanthemum in there. Uh, why don't we grab some of these for the chickens, though? I actually haven't been harvesting the chickens because we have so much eggs. I mean, we have a ridiculous amount of eggs. Let's grab half of those. I need to make some more honey, too. And we'll just put this second one right next to the first one. And, oh, wait, never mind. Grab the honey out of here. Okay, that one's good. And we'll put the rest of those in there for now. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and harvest away here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, well, here, let's see how many potato seeds we can make, first of all, before we do anything else. 
And these are just extra seeds that I don't think we're going to do anything with at the, the moment. Um, yeah, so let's go down, back down this way. Because we need the artisan's bench to make new seeds. And let's just see how many potato seeds we can make. We make a total of six. Yep. We're going to turn all of those potatoes into seeds. And you know what? I think we have... I think we have one more potato in the refrigerator. Ah, uh, yes we do. Okay, so that should allow us to make one more seed. And I think after the next harvest then... Um... Did, oh, what are we missing? Oh, we need five. Okay. After the next harvest, we will... I'll prob I might make a couple more seeds, but I think we're going to then be done with seeds, and then we can start actually using the, the potatoes for various things. Okay, we've got a surplus of a lot of stuff, so I need to start using some of these items for making things. So let's get everything put away first, and then we'll take a look and see what we got and uh, what we want to make. We'll get all that sorted there. Um, that and that will go in the other room. Oh, and this too. Because we, we use this for... We don't eat this. We can eat it, but we use it for making this stuff here. So we want to hang on to that. Consider that more of a chemical uh, item as opposed to a food item. Okay, we got a bunch of corn. So I'm going to take two full stacks of corn there and turn that into cornmeal. So, you know what, too? We could make... I use these more for making, you know, um, nitrate and sulfur powder. So maybe what we'll do is we'll make another mortar and pestle for the kitchen. Got caps link, uh, caps link, or caps key on. Um, okay, so we need 20 large stones. So let's cancel this for a second. Okay, so we'll make that for the kitchen. Um, this is probably done with the small stones. Yeah, okay. So let's do... Oh, 7, 16... Yeah, whatever. I'm really tired. It's been a long day, so... I'm, I'm not going to be doing math. That's just all there is to it. Even though we put too many, too many in the other one, but I don't care. Okay, so now that that's going on... Let's go ahead and get going on some cement here with what we currently have. All right, back here to get our potato seeds and our mortar and pestle. And we could put that, why don't we put that right here? Fantastic, okay. so. I think this will pull from the fridge. So that would make 335. Let's make 275. Okay. And that still leaves us 60 ears of corn that we can use for cooking purposes. We're going to put all of this stuff in here. Okay. That's look, that looks good. And then... Um, I think we're ready to go back up to the garden and replant. Well, actually, we don't have to replant. We just have to replant the, the six potatoes. Okay, so we're picking up the shrooms. Three, four, five. We have a total of six, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, we still have one more potato. Uh, I thought that was six. Put that there. Okay. Um, now, as far as the mushrooms go, I think what I'm going to do is let's pick up this extra corn. 
and we have so much corn. I think I'll, I'll even pick that one up. How many mushrooms do we have? We have six. Okay, so let's put a mushroom there. We're just kind of putting the mushrooms in, in the in-between spots here. Okay, so that still leaves us three more shrooms. Uh, let's go take a look over here again. All right, we don't need another coffee seed there, so we can put a shroom there. And we don't need another corn seed there, so we'll put a shroom there. And uh, I think... Let's go back over here. And let's pick up one of these aloes, because we have tons and tons of aloe and aloe cream. There. Okay, that should give us a decent amount of mushrooms. Uh, we're just going to run with that, and then, you know, if I come to find out later on that we don't have enough shrooms, we'll make uh, an adjustment. Like, I mean, we got tons of yucca. We really probably don't need two full rolls of, of aloe, um, and we might not need two full rolls of coffee. So we can make some adjustments as needed until I get everything to a point where I feel like it's uh, nice and balanced. Okay, so let's put this extra seed back in here, and that can just stay in there. And that takes care of harvesting the garden for this time around. We'll leave the eggs there. Let's head back down to the kitchen. And so we're still going to be limited in what we can make because of the potato situation, but that's, you know, that's not going to be a problem for too much longer. Um, let's make... Let's make... Uh, the... The sham chowders. We'll make two of those. Limited again by the potatoes. And I want to look in here again. Yeah, we should reduce some of this yucca fruit. Yeah, we're actually got we got tons of shrooms, so we're maybe we should make a bunch of veggie stews actually. Uh, and beer. Where do we make beer in this game? We make it at the chemistry station. I've always thought it was funny that um, Seven Days to Nine, this is a vanilla thing, this isn't an undead legacy thing, as you use dirty water to make beer. Uh, because in, in real life, you actually want very clean and pure water when you're making beer. Uh, so it doesn't get infected. Uh, but that's the way it goes. Okay, so yeah, let's just make a bunch of beer. There we go. Okay. It's morning already. Uh, coffee. I want to make some coffee. So um, let's grab all the coffee that we have. And I think we probably just make that in here, don't we? Oh, you know what? We could make and should make blackstrap coffee. Right. Okay, so that means... Um, let's... Do I have any clean water in jars? I don't. Okay, yeah, so let's boil this water here. No, I'm going to make 20. And then when that's finished, then we'll make some blackstrap coffee. Okay, we'll put both of those back in there. All right, what else? Um, we have a bunch of yucca fruit, so we should make some yucca juice. Uh, we could make pumpkin bread and or more pumpkin cheesecake the cheesecakes we already have five of those though I don't really use this for food i use it for the bartering buff more than anything else i mean it's not bad food though either in its own right i need to get some more fuel in here okay so yeah we could make pumpkin bread or pumpkin oh we can make pumpkin pie Yeah, we could definitely afford to do that. I wonder, though, where's the pumpkin cheesecake? Okay, that requires... Uh, my, I'll bet you the pumpkin pies is more nutritious than the bread, just by virtue of the fact that you need a lot more resources to make it. Um, yeah, so why don't we do that? We're going to need even more boiled water, then. So let's make another uh, 40 more of these. Or no, 20 more of these. 
And then we'll turn some of those pumpkins into pumpkin pie for ourselves. Uh, yucca juice. What do we need for that? Yucca, yucca, yucca. We don't know the recipe for smoothies. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's just empty jars and yucca. So let's make a crap ton of yucca juice. Um, like at least 50, I'd say. Uh, just to, again, kind of reduce some of the stuff in here. For shrooms, I know we can make veggie stew. Um, oh, we ought to make herbal antibiotics. Uh, do I have mineral water in jars? No, I only have it in there. Okay, so we're going to have to make some mineral water in jars. The thing is, is, I mean... Oh, we're not... You know what? We can't make veggie stew because we don't have potatoes. Yeah, that isn't going to work. All right, so we're just going to have to continue to sit on the mushrooms for now. And uh, probably the raw meat, too, unless we want to make some bacon eggs... Just so we have some, you know, kind of mid-level food, I suppose. But, um, I'd kind of rather turn this meat into meat stew, though. But again, we need potatoes to do that. So, I think that's probably all we're going to do for now. Uh, we could also make blueberry pie. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, but again, we need boiled water. We just need a crap ton of boiled water to do all this stuff. Okay, well, let's let that... Uh, do its thing. What does that require? Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's make... Let's make five of those so we can make some more antibiotics. And then... I'm going to make the rest... Turn the rest of those into just regular boiled water. Because uh, we have more murky water there. And do I have any water in here? I cleaned this out. Oh, yeah, we got a full thing of it. Okay, so let's grab um, 50 jars here. And we'll fill that up. And just put those in there for now uh, so they're available to us uh, when we need them. Let's uh, sort this. Okay. How are you doing on the cornmeal? You're getting... We're going to have lots of cornmeal. Lots of cornmeal. All right, let's see. So it is morning time now. Uh, we got all of our stuff put away. We got the garden harvested. We got some stuff cooking up that we're making. Um, so what do we want to do with the rest of our time today? I suppose we could just go on a random raid somewhere. We're still looking, of course, you know, for um, uh, for beakers. Could do that. Or, oh, no, I know what we're going to do. We're going to go out into the wasteland, and we're just going to hit some some titanium piles and kill some Zekers. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So, let's put... Uh, no, I think I'm, I want to actually take the rock busters with us. We're going to put this back in here for now. Um, and, yeah, let's go ahead. I think we're ready to go. I don't have any coffee left for the moment, so we need some gasoline. Grab a couple of those. I did, by the way, look into making the uh, gyrocopter. Oh, you know what? The thing that's going to make the gyrocopter difficult for us is uh, or rather are the wheels however I do have a gyrocopter wheel here um okay hold on a sec so we can make the chassis Oh, you know what? We could make the Dune Runner, I think. I I have already have an engine at, at our old place, so can we make we we can make the seat and the dashboard, but I don't think we can make the suspen. Oh, we can make the suspension. Ooh. 
Okay, we're gonna make ourselves a dude runner. Maybe not in this episode, but really quick because you just have to in Undead Legacy. It's like iconic for this mod. Um, but what I wanted to look at is what would it take? Hold on a sec. Recipes. Oh no, are you saying we can't? Wait a second. Can we craft the gyrocopter wheel? Do we... Maybe we don't need a, a blueprint for that. Gyrocopter. Yeah, we do need a blueprint for it. Uh, it says it's crafted in the research station. All right, why did? How did I miss that? Was I just clicking on the wrong thing? Maybe. There we go. Okay. Um, we could, we could make this. We need, th we we would need two more. Well, we would need three because, no, we don't have to consume the wheel. Okay. We could make this. That would put us getting to the, the Kim Bench level three on hold because we'd burn up, you know, almost all of our research data to do this, but we could do it. And so I guess the question, question is, do I want to make the gyrocopter or do I want to make the dune buggy? We got the aviation engines. We got the dune runner frame and the gyro. We got the, we don't have to make the accessories because we already have those. All right, let's look at this again here. Oh, what are the wheels themselves cost to make? research station right here uh what come on man you should at least tell us what it costs we can't plan for it otherwise that sucks i don't like that um all right back to this for a second okay so if we we do the gyro we're gonna have to make two of these in the chassis which we could make so if making two more of these is not that bad, we we've got we can make this happen, you guys. That's gonna take a bunch of steel. Um, the thing is, though, if we're gonna do this, we need to get the roof ready as a landing pad and a launching off pad. Okay, let's do it. Let's craft that because I mean we got so much iron, you, you know, so we can replenish that steel. Okay. And then I think we're going to go ahead and research the wheel. We'll, we will do the doom buggy. It will absolutely do the doom buggy too, but um, I think we're going to do the gyro now. Okay, so let's pin this recipe here. And we should easily have all of that stuff. Oh, you know what, though? I didn't check to see if we had the books. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's grab 50 scrap rubber. 20 iron plating, five bearings, and five adhesive. Okay, now, do we have 10 books? Yes, we do. Look at that. Huzzah! Okay, we got everything. Let's research a gyrocopter wheel. Alright, that's gonna take a minute. That stuff back in there for now. Oh, you know what else we could do now, too? We can read mini bike maintenance because we read bicycle maintenance. But now we're going to need van maintenance. And not, there's, there is, uh, what do we do? Mini bike? Yeah. So we're probably going to need to read motorcycle maintenance, then van maintenance, or maybe car maintenance, and then truck maintenance. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for that stuff. All right, let's go back here. And uh, we got the chassis. Okay, that's good. We'll just put those two things back in there for the moment. Let's wait for this research data to finish. Six seconds left. All right, we learned that. We have a gyrocopter coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 
if we stand over here, we should be able to reach the thing. Yeah, okay. So we need two more of these. Fan friggin' tastic. Okay. Gyrocopter it is. So that means <coughs> excuse me. Let's go back up to the roof. And uh, we're probably gonna have to get the roof going next. Um so all of this crap's gotta come out of here. And just trying to think. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna tear up, tear all of the steel out of here first. Let's get that done, and then we'll decide what the next move is. What I'm, th what I'm thinking though is this: we, we make ourselves a. I guess we can get started on that right now. Uh, we make ourselves part. You know, one half of the roof will be like a takeoff ramp, and the other half we will set up kind of almost like a backstop. So we, you know, we come in to land, but you know, if I, if I don't do it very gracefully, which I won't, uh, then we have a backstop to kind of catch, you know, catch us. Uh, so we don't go barreling off the side, you know, and once I get this all finished, we're going to have a lot of space over there too. But regardless, all of this metal stuff has got to go. So I think we are going to take it out. So let's do it. Wow, those things are beefy. Um, I'm almost wondering if we should just take the concrete out below them and collapse them that way. And then just replace the concrete. I think I'm going to, because otherwise that's going to take forever. Um, this is like 10,000 hit point steel there. Yeah, so let's just, let's just take the concrete out and drop it that way. Okay, let's pause for a second and get the gyrocopter itself cooking up. One gyrocopter coming up. Three minutes. All right, come here, Roberta. All systems go, how may I help? Getting a decent amount of scrap and even some pipes uh, for doing this, which is good. How are you doing, by the way? You are doing just fine. Look at that. Uh, you aren't doing anything yet. Let's um, actually make some more. Oh, we got to grab the stone dust out of here. Okay, we'll get that concrete going. Uh, we'll put the pipes in here. And while we're here, let's repair our jackhammer. And looks like we're doing okay on fuel. All right, back to uh, tearing metal apart. Oh, you're kidding me. Seriously? It must be still attached to uh, these blocks here then, I guess. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I, I'm almost thinking about taking all of these blocks out anyway. We don't really need them there. I don't know. I'm going to have to 
I'm gonna have to give that a little bit more thought, I think. I mean, that's that's gonna be a hell of a lot of work. Uh, it 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 would be less work though; it would require a lot more resources to leave these blocks in place and just expand this platform, you know, this race platform out to the edge a little bit more. Um, but well, I'm gonna have to give that some thought, I guess. So anyway, uh, looks like we're out of time here, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just keep working on. Um, you know, taking all this stuff out of here and kind of give give it some thought to how I want to set things up. But again, the idea is that we have a ramp. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, we already have this building here. So this could potentially be our backstop. So if we if we approach the building from the south, and we you know we could use the elevator as a as kind of a guide point and aimed for that building. Even if I didn't stop in time and we kind of bounce up, we could bounce into this and this could be our backstop. Um, so that's something to think about. I wasn't really planning on taking this building down. I think I'm gonna leave it there. It's just that the only, you know, downside to that is it's, you know, co uh, coming in this direction quite a ways. So, oh, okay. Well, anyway, like I said, I'm going to have to just give that some thought. And uh, I'll kind of figure out what I'm going to do. And then once I figure that out, um, I will probably at least do the more tedious parts of what needs to happen. And then I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to, when, when I have a good plan and ready to build out, you know, our landing platform, uh, which once again will consist of both a a backstop for landing and a ramp for taking off. Okay, uh, so with that, I'm going to leave you guys here, and we will see you all in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and share out the video. All right, guys, uh, don't forget I am still uh, very busy with work uh, for the rest of this week. Um, I'll try and get another seven days video out in, uh, in the next couple days for you. But if I don't, I expect to be back to a normal schedule next week, starting on Monday, the 14th. And then after that, you know, you should see more frequency with all of the videos on the channel, not just, uh, seven days tonight. Okay. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.